everyone, I'm Ethan with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Luigi Palazzolo, who, despite losing his own family, made it his mission to look after the orphans of Italy. Luigi was born in 1827 in Northern Italy. He was the last of nine sons in more than one sense. Though they were well provided for, his brothers all died before he was an adult. His father also died when he was 10, so Luigi and his mother had only each other left. Despite such terrible loss in their family, Luigi's mother raised him faithfully and lovingly. She had for help the instruction of local priests who encouraged Luigi to go out to the nearby hospital or to people's homes in order to tend to the sick. In this way, charity became second nature to him. After his early years of schooling, it became evident that Luigi had developed not only a kind heart, but a keen mind as well. Following the model of the holy men who had helped teach him in his youth, he pursued the study of philosophy and theology in order to become a priest. He was ordained in 1850 at the age of 23. As a priest, Luigi kept his eyes open for ways that he could help those who were suffering. He soon found his calling in the aftermath of the Italian Wars for Independence, which had caused much damage and loss. He was particularly receptive to the struggles of homeless orphan children with no one to look after them. Luigi took in many children and cared for them as best he could. He gave them food, shelter, and education, and even entertainment in the form of puppet shows. While he poured himself into the work of raising these children, it quickly became apparent that he couldn't do enough, especially on his own. After the death of his own mother in 1862, he had come to realize just how difficult it was for children without parents, and particularly girls without mothers. He knew the care of a mother, which so many orphan girls desperately needed, wasn't something he could provide, and prayed someone would come to his assistance. His prayers were answered when he encountered Teresa Gabrielli, a nun who had a similar passion for providing care to orphans and needy youths. In 1869, Luigi helped her to found the Sisters of the Poor, who made it their mission to help those who were destitute, especially young girls. While the congregation had a rocky start, in time, more sisters joined the cause, enabling the care of more and more homeless children as the years went on. In the meantime, Luigi devoted himself to a life of complete poverty, selling or giving away all of his possessions for the sake of the poor. As he approached his 60s, Luigi's health steeply declined. He developed difficulties in breathing, forcing him to sleep in a chair. He lived long enough to see the Sisters of the Poor officially approved, but not much longer. He died in 1886, his last word being in the name of Jesus. He was canonized in 2022. Family is something we often take for granted, but it's an extremely important part of our lives. While many holy people emerge from surprising circumstances, a family of faith is often the environment in which saints are fostered. Saint Luigi Palazzolo, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.